I didn't. I wasn't able to do the PC recording. Somebody started it. Okay. Cloud recording rolling. Chair Lugo, you may begin with your opening statement. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing of the Committee on Land Use. At this time, would all panelists please turn on your video. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices to vibrate or silent. If you wish to submit testimony, you may do so at landusetestimony at council.nyc.gov. Again, that's landusetestimony at council.nyc.gov. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Salamanca, we are ready to begin. Uh, thank you, uh, Sergeant Arms. Good morning and welcome to the Committee on Land Use. I am Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, Chair of this committee. I would like to welcome my colleagues who are with us today. Uh, we have Council Members Kuhl, Adams, Ayala, Barron, Borelli, Feliz, Gibson, Redenchik, Levin, Miller, Chair Moya, Chair Wright, and Chair Wright. I would like to also thank Chair Moya and Chair Riley for their work on our two subcommittees. Today, we will vote on a number of applications referred out from our zoning subcommittee. But before we begin, I would like to recognize the committee council to review the remote meeting procedures. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. I am Julie Lubin, counsel to this committee. Council members who would like to ask questions or make remarks should use the Zoom raise hand function. The raise hand button should appear at the bottom of the participant panel. I will announce council members who have questions or remarks in the order that they raise their hands. Chair Salamanca will then recognize members to speak. We ask that you please be patient if any technical difficulties arise today. Chair Salamanca will now continue with today's agenda item. Thank you, Council. We will vote to approve LUs numbers 832 and 833 for the 2840 Knapp Street rezoning proposal related to property in Council District 48 in Brooklyn. The proposal seeks a zoning map amendment to change an R5 district to an R6 district and a related zoning tax amendment to establish a mandatory inclusionary housing area utilizing options one and two. We will also vote to approve the modifications LUs 834 for the Windermere special permit proposal which relates to property in Speaker Johnson's district in Manhattan. The application seeks to modify various use and bulk regulations to facilitate the conversion, alteration, and enlargement of the Windermere apartment building and individual landmark at 400-406 West 57th Street. As proposed, the developer sought the option of constructing either hotel or office, in either case with 20 affordable housing units. Our modification would be to strike the hotel scheme, which will result in an office development with 20 affordable housing units. We will also vote to approve some modifications, LUs number 838 for a citywide zoning tax amendment proposed by the Department of City Planning and the MTA, known as a Zoning for Accessibility or ZFA. The proposal would require developers of transit adjacent sites to obtain a determination as to the need for an easement volume to facilitate future station access before constructing their buildings. It would also create an authorization framework for the transit improvement floor area bonus program, expand the area of applicability to all nine A, um, R9 and R10 districts citywide and apply the program to a larger radius of eligible sites. Our modification will include adding the city council to the list of recipients of the MTA's annual report for the easement program. We'll clarify that resiliency measures in conjunction with accessibility improvements would be among the allowable types of station upgrades and would establish a maximum threshold of additional floor area for sites using the new authorization. We will also vote to approve LU's numbers 839 for the 106-02 Rockaway Beach Boulevard rezoning proposal related to property in Council Member Overs District in Queens. The proposal seeks a zoning map amendment to change an R5D slash C2-3 district to an M1-5 district. We will also vote to approve LU number 840 and 841 for the 307 Kent Avenue rezoning proposal related to property in Council Member Levin's district in Brooklyn. The proposal seeks a zoning map amendment to change an M3-1 district partially to an M1-5 district and partially to an M1-4 slash R6A special mixed use district, as well as a zoning related zoning tax amendment to establish a mandatory inclusionary housing area in the special mixed use district portion of the rezoning area. However, 
approval will facilitate a new nine story preliminary commercial and community facility building. We will also file pursuant to a letter of withdrawal LUs 836 and 837 for the 629-639 West 142nd Street rezoning proposal. On September 23rd, 2021, the applicant submitted a letter of withdrawal of the application. Council members who have questions or remarks about today's items to use the raise hand button now. Council will announce members in the order that their hands were raised. Sure, I see no raised hands. Oh, great. So seeing none, I will now call for a vote in accordance with the recommendation of the subcommittees and local council members and note that a vote of aye on all will be to adopt the following. To approve LUs 832, 833, 839, 840, and 841, and to approve a modification as I described, LUs 834 and 838, and to file LUs 836 and 837, will the clerk please call the roll. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. All items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. I don't know. My yes, hand sir. is raised. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Council I'm sorry. Council okay. Member Miller. I recognize no. Council Member Miller. Um, I had some questions about the districts as the, 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 um, the, the mandatory inclusion zoning. What districts they were in and, 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 and the... Um, Positions of the members, obviously they agree, but what districts were they specifically in? But which project are you asking about? We could have mandatory, some the zoning, the mandatory inclusionary zoning. There was there is a mandatory inclusionary zoning in council member in district 48 in Brooklyn, uh, 2840 Knapp Avenue rezoning proposal. Um, and That's it, council member. What district is that, 48? Okay. Thank you. Is that all? That's it, thank you. All right, thank you. All right, clerk, you may resume. Thank you, council member Gibson. Good morning, I vote aye on all. Thank you. Baron. Good morning. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Thank you. Council Member Koo. Council Member Koo. Uh, good morning. I vote aye on all. Thank you, sir. Levin. I vote aye on all. all. Thank you. I vote aye on all, and I, uh, I like uh, Council Member Gibson's glasses for the record. Miller. I, I'm 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 I don't know with the exception of I'm sorry, the, the uh, rezoning of 48. Thank you. Gordenchik. Aye. Councilman Gordenchik voted aye. Adams. Aye. Thank you, Ayala. Aye, but I. Thank you, Moya. Aye, but I. Thank you, Riley. Good morning, I vote aye. Thank you, Feliz. Good morning, I on all. Thank you. Borelli. I vote aye. Thank you, one moment. Okay, by a vote of 13 in the affirmative, zero on the negative and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee with the exceptions of Rezoning item district number 48 is adopted by the committee 12 in the affirmative, one in the negative and no abstentions. All right, I would like to thank you all. Um, I would like to thank the public, my colleagues, council and land use staff and Sergeant of Arms for attending today's hearing. We will leave the roll open for five minutes. Thank you. 
Councilmember Miller. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Can I do, uh, Councilmember Miller, this is William Martin, committee clerk. Yep. Can I just verify that you were a no or abstention on the rezoning? That is affirmative. You are a no. That is correct. Thank you, sir. Hi there, I was hoping to vote. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Council Member Rivera. Uh, all items on today's land use calendar, how do you vote? I vote aye. Thank you very much. One moment. Thanks, Bill.
Okay, all items on today's land use calendar have been adopted by a vote of 14 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, with land use items 832 and 833 being adopted by the committee with 13 in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. Thank you. Chair Salamanca, that was a final vote on the Committee on Land Use. Important legislation. Uh, I want to thank my colleagues, council, and annual staff for attending today's hearing. This meeting is hereby.